Yo, what's up? Alright, so, <clears throat> figured I'd throw a video up here quick, um, in reference to eBay, and, um, glass, selling glass on eBay, specifically. Um, obviously, um, if you dug into Etsy, that's a really good place to sell glass, too, but, anyway, um, I just want to point out something that I used to do, and, I mean, just really quickly to, to just, you know, um, so you guys know where I'm coming from with this and like when I first started selling online um like I was started selling nothing but glass um I have no idea why I guess maybe it was the availability of glass and the fact that you could pick it up so for so cheap um glass is not something that I would recommend somebody to get into as far as starting to sell online um or look at glass as being um the sole um or the backbone of your business reselling online uh simply because glass is um, each item is like so unique to itself and it's really difficult to identify glass. And I guess for me, that was kind of the, um, the challenge was, uh, I liked it and I just, I don't know, for some reason I had a, I was gung ho about being, selling more glass than anybody else online. That was my big thing. So I dug into glass and I got into it deep and honestly, I got really, I did really well with it. Um, I had, it was not long before I had personally, um, reached a point in my selling where I was unable to grow as a business any farther because I was literally packing from sun up to sundown. I could not take any more on. I would have had to hire anybody, somebody else. And it was really getting to be overwhelming. Um, it was great. I mean, I was loving it. It was still better than going to work for somebody else. Um, but it was, I mean, that's where it grown to, but granted, had I put that effort into somewhere else other than glass, I probably would have reaped even more benefit. So, what I wanted to show you, this is actually something really neat, and um, I had gotten so deep into glass that, um, and by the way, if you guys have any glass out there that you, you know that you have, shoot me a message or whatever, or leave a post, and uh, I will gladly identify your glass. Um, I can, I'm pretty good, um, you know, and glass is one of those things that opened my eyes to that fact that, um, you know, knowledge is knowledge is equals, you know, basically, you know, money in your pocket. Um, if you don't know what you have. It's not worth anything, you know. You have to know what you have for it to be worth shit. So um, knowledge is power, really. It is. So doing your research is huge. And with glass, I mean, that's what it all it was. It's all it was. It was um, it, I expended a great deal of um, effort. And uh, it <laughs> it probably got me into the online reselling business. Uh, though it was a good learning experience, and I guess I'm glad I did it. Um, like I said, it probably wasn't the best thing to start into, but I was all about it. And um I still do sell glass online, and uh, I just don't do it as hard as I used to. It's actually kind of on the back burner right now. You know, I'm really hard into FBA right now, and uh, I'm sure you guys probably heard about it. And if not, maybe I'll, I don't know, maybe I'll throw something up and give you my own two cents on that. But anyway, I just want to show you something really neat that I found out that actually became, even though I was a person who on eBay, when I was selling full-time eBay, I had never had under, a, I, I always had over 120 listings at all times. That was my bottom. I never let myself get under 120 active listings at a time ever. That's just where I was at. Okay. So I was, point being that I had a lot of stuff out there um, available for sale. And this ended up being such a huge part of my uh, business that it actually wound up being the, I was literally making more on this than anything else. Now, um, if you don't know anything about glass, believe me, it does not make any difference. You don't have to know anything about glass to do this. I'm basically, what I'm trying to do here is, sorry, I'm kind of, I, I should have started on point here. But the point of this video is that this is a, I'm going to show you something that's really neat that you can make uh, really easy money on. And the market right now, obviously, I can see the market has changed from when I left because when I was there, I had drove it down big time and it put me right to the top. Um, but I can see right now it's big. So anyway. If you don't know anything about glass, that's cool. If you do, great. Um, cobalt blue glass, anything cobalt blue is um, huge. That is, when it comes to glassware, that is this stuff that sells hot. Take it. It's it's they, it's they hot. It, it, people go nuts for it. People love it, um, especially get the darker cobalt blue. But it doesn't make a difference. Cobalt blue, if you're looking at the screen here, you can see everything here blue. It's all cobalt blue. Um, basically, as far as I'm concerned, if it's blue... It's cobalt blue, unless it's really, really light blue. Like, that's a lighter blue. That's not really cobalt blue. But you can pretty much call whatever cobalt blue you want. But the dark blue stuff like this here, and this right here listing is exactly what I'm talking about specifically. I found out, and what I did, and you can do this. This is all you got to do. If you go to Walmart, go to the, you know, whatever, the home 
the home section kitchen area and go find all their um, plates and bowls and stuff specifically bowls especially mugs too is then the second one plates come last but you'll see that they have these cobalt blue bowls here um they're six inch cereal bowls that's how i used to always put them as well this guy's got them cereal soup that's pretty much right uh you'll find out that you can pick these up for a dollar fifty a piece at walmart brand new not on sale that's their actual going price and the reason i'm telling you this is because i don't do this uh anymore and but even at the time i was locally i had we have uh we have three walmarts here within 15 minute drive of where i live and i had cleaned every last one of those walmarts out and i was going to a neighboring town that was an hour away and i was cleaning them out i was selling more of these than every but than all the walmarts combined locally here i was cleaning them out big time um okay to where i think they were even catching on but anyways um i just realized that and i didn't know this i just happened to walk by it at walmart one day and i was like already very familiar with the glass market and scene i was like holy crap these are a dollar fifty a piece and i as soon as i passed by them, i knew right there that i could sell them for more than that online very easily and uh so what i did is i bought four of them my rule of thumb with glassware especially is fours whether you're selling cups bowls plates mugs it does not matter well not mugs mugs is different but bowls anything like that four because anything less than four it's hardly worth uh, a buyer paying the shipping cost so don't mess with anything less than four okay unless you have a very unique item so fours so what i did is i went and bought four for a dollar fifty a piece so obviously that cost me six bucks and some change and what i did is i went and took some really good photos okay by really good photos i'm sure i mentioned this before have a white backdrop by white backdrop how do you do this a white piece of board uh um um paper board you can get them at walmart for 33 cents a piece just a big white paper sheet Okay, that's all you need. Fold it in half, done deal. You have a white backdrop. That's all you got to do. And then crop the photo, all right? Take a photo with a really high, you want to. You want it very nice and bright. So just turn up the brightness on your camera. Um, uh, the exposure, have that really high. Um, and then uh, make sure you're using macro. Macro is usually like that little flower looking symbol. And macro just represents taking a close up photo. And take a really good quality photo, okay? So the reason I'm telling you to do this is because once you've done this, you don't have to ever go buy them again, okay? Just the one time. And this is what I did. And this is the whole deal with this was that I was I was trying to figure out a way that I could... Um, I was basically selling stuff that I hadn't even purchased, except for the one first time. I bought the four bulls. I went and seen the market on it, and it was, it was less than this right now. I was selling them for, um, if I remember right, uh, I was doing $24.99 plus free shipping, okay? This guy's got it for fifty one twenty three. So obviously you can come right. You can cut this guy right. You can cut this guy down. This guy is screwing people. So you could cut this guy down. Even if he is a top rated seller, you gotta you gotta you can cut him down. Um, you know, don't cut him down by penny. Cut him down a little bit more than that because obviously the profit margin is huge. You can ship four bowls if you ship FedEx. Don't use USPS. Those guys are rip off. They are horrible. Don't ever use USPS unless you're shipping first class or a uh, flat rate priority. If you're not doing those two things, do not ever use USPS. They are horrible. FedEx is really affordable. Uh, they have a new thing called, um, uh, oh shoot, I can't remember what the heck it's called now because I don't use it very often anymore, but um, I'll remember it. But anyway, it's a really cheap way of shipping. That's far, it's it's like 45% cheaper than USPS, okay? So check into FedEx if you're not doing that. But yeah, anyway, you can ship the four bowls packed properly uh, for about less than $10, okay? So you can, if you listed this for, let's just say, for example, twenty nine ninety nine free shipping, um, that's way undercutting this guy. You can list it for more than that. Let's just say you did thirty nine ninety nine. Okay, you cost you six bucks to get them, ten bucks shipped. That's sixteen dollars invested. If you sold it for forty, that's a huge profit margin for just one sale. That's insane. Okay, that's big time. All right. So now the reason I mentioned about taking a really good photo is you only have to take these photos one time. Okay, and now this is the whole concept. This is the whole driving the point home here is that you don't have to go buy them again until you sell another one. So this is what I was doing is after I bought my initial four, just so I could take the pictures, I never went and bought them again unless I sold them. I live like 10 minutes away from a Walmart. So I guess if you don't live that close to Walmart, maybe you will want to. Regardless, it's a huge, it's a great opportunity for profit. But oops, uh, what I was doing was uh, I would not pick up another one. And then when I sold one, I would uh, just, I would it would go directly into my account because I had already been selling on eBay. And I would just use that money and go pick up another four or however many I needed for that day. I'd gotten to the point where... 
I was doing this, um, I was making one trip there and I was buying, you know, multiple quantities of the mugs that they sell there. They have bowls and they have plates and I was buying multiple quantities of all of them. Um, so like I said, I was making more money on just this concept where I'm showing what I'm telling you here, just the bowl, just the cobalt blue stuff from Walmart, not buying any of them up front, except from the first time I did. And I was making more money off of that than I was all my other glassware combined. And I had over 120 listings at all times. Okay. And I was selling them for only twenty four ninety nine with free shipping. So that gives you a really good idea of um, how quickly this could blow up. And it took, it was only about a matter of a month and a half before it had taken off to the point where I couldn't have any more stock. I was selling so much that I was actually going directly to anchorhawking.com and shipping directly from them and having them ship directly to where I was selling it at, which was cutting into my profit margin big time. But that's what I was having to do because the Walmart was, were just, they couldn't keep up with what I was selling. Um, and uh, granted, by the time I had cut back and I was I was starting to, you know, dig into other things as far as online reselling uh, that um, they had started stocking more because they had seen that obviously they were moving a lot more of this product. So by the time I was about getting out, uh, they were they had just piles of stuff on the shelves because, you know, obviously it was moving so fast they couldn't keep it on the shelf fast enough. So. I don't know if they ever were wondering what the heck happened or what in the world or if they ever caught on. But um, you can see this is getting watched once every 24 hours. This stuff sells. I'm telling you, it's hot stuff. So, But the idea is is you want to – and it's and it's another nice thing is uh, the fact that you're using one listing you've already created and selling more – you're selling off of one listing. And you're not having to create a new listing every time you make your listing an item. You know, so that saves you huge amounts of time. It makes it more cost effective of a business. And really, this is the idea of, um, you know, how you can make, you know, this is how you really start getting going, you know, running a business. And um, there's more than one item out there for you to be able to do something like this on. You know, imagine if you took an item, for example, like I said, I wasn't having to buy these until I'd sold them. Imagine if you had, and I was doing this with three or four or five different items. So, you know, you could figure one item, okay, that's substantial. Imagine if you did this on a level where you were selling 50 or 60 or whoever knows however many items that you weren't even buying. You wouldn't even have put the money down to add into your inventory aside from the initial purchase of having it because you were able to find something that was for sale somewhere, not at sale price, at normal cost, and you were able to just basically, you know, it's not drop shipping obviously, but, you know, you could sell it off of their shelves and do nothing but go pick it up with the money you'd already got paid for and ship it. Done deal, brand new. You know, this is a very interesting concept that I think maybe a lot of people have not even, it would never even th have crossed their mind. Um, so I was really excited about this when I found this and it had caused me to look into many other things and I was selling a lot of stuff. Um, you know, I guess maybe not a lot, less than a dozen, but I had quite a few items that I was selling like this and I was selling regularly and I was doing very, very well on them. And it was the backbone of my online business when I was selling solely on eBay. Okay. I don't anymore just on eBay and I've cut back big time, but um, there you go. So seriously, not take this and use this exact idea. Go to Walmart and pick up four of these bowls. You have to take a good photo, make a really good listing because again, this is not a listing that you have to redo every time. This is one listing that you never have to redo again. So you want it to be money. You want it to be pristine. You want the photos to be top notch. This guy has pretty good photos. He could have a little bit better lighting, say a little bit yellowing. That stuff is, you know, you don't want yellowing ever in your photos. So that's why uh, when you do shoot photos, make sure you have your uh, camera set to incandescent or however you want to pronounce that, I-N, whatever. Uh, make sure you do that. T turn the auto off so you don't get any of that yellowing. It makes this for nice white photos. That's really good. So, um, yeah, anyway, uh, yeah, that's what I wanted to say. Obviously, I drug that out a little bit. But seriously, take this exact idea and run with it and try it. And, uh, you know, run along and scan some crap. They got scanners out there on your that you can get, you know, apps on your phone now and just start scanning stuff and see what they sell for online versus um, what they sell for, uh, you know, in the store that you're looking at. And, uh, you know, another good thing to maybe think about looking into is another secret maybe is uh, a lot of baby products you can buy, you know, whatever. Past, you know, I'm not going to say any more than that, but check into that stuff, too, if you want to hint as far as other things you can look into that you can sell for more online than you buy in the store's retail. So check into that. And uh, I don't know. Hopefully this helps somebody out and uh, maybe, maybe motivates you or excites you to, uh, you know, take your business to the next level or maybe just get it started. So, all right, peace out.